today I'm going to be working on my MX-5 once again. I'm going to be spraying the rocker cover with this blue uh, wrinkle paint and then I'm going to be spraying all the calipers. I have a, a yellow and a black spray paint for the calipers. I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it. Uh, I was thinking I might do some sort of design just like right MX-5 on the side of the caliper but there isn't too much space as there are tiny little calipers on this car. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is removing the rocker cover and I'm going to spray down all the calipers with this uh, caliper cleaner uh, for taking off all this dirt and grease. I'm leaving the calipers on as I don't trust myself to take them off, put them back on again. Uh, this is, I'm going to be spraying this part here. I'll probably leave the carrier sort of parts. Um, and I'm going to be taking this off as well. I'm going to be take it, spraying the rocker cover as well with the uh, caliper cleaner. It's a degreaser, so it'll take off any of the grease or oil that's on the rocker cover to give a, a good finish to the paint so it actually sticks on properly. So I'm going to go ahead, take these off. So next thing, when these are dry, next thing I'll do is mask up all the holes and stuff on the um, rocker cover and then the same for the brakes. I have the rocker cover completely masked up now. You can see it here. I've after cutting out the letters here for the Mazda, I left this part here because it took ages just to do this part. So basically when I spray it, it's the blue wrinkle paint that's going onto this bluey purple. Um, once that's done, I'll leave it for two hours. Then it'll get uh, baked in the oven, I think it is. I'm just reading the instructions on the back of it. Uh, it gets put in the oven for like an hour at 90 degrees. And then tomorrow, <clears throat> when it's all set and dried and everything, I think to leave it to set for about 24 hours. I'm gonna peel off the uh, Mazda uh, lettering here, take that out, and then I'll drip in some of the uh, black paint I have that's inside at the moment, some of the black paint in here. So it'll be blue and you'll have the Mazda uh, riding, you'll, that'll be clearly visible. I don't really care about this part here. Uh, it was, would have taken too long to cut out the uh, masking tape with the scalpel. It took ages to do just that. <clears throat> so I'm leaving it with just the Mazda logo and hopefully it works out and looks pretty good. So I'm gonna spray this now with the uh, blue paint. It's like three heavy coats. Then I'll leave it to set for two hours and then it goes into the oven. Just after finishing spraying all the calipers on the car, I went around doing like two light coats and then one heavy coat on all the corners. The um, it's kind of having a hard time drying here as it's so cold. It's probably about zero degrees or minus one, minus two. Stuff starting to freeze. Um, the wrinkle paint I done in here, which is basically the same temperature as outside, so it wasn't starting to wrinkle. I, so I brought it inside to where it's a bit warm and I put two more coats on it. So I'm gonna leave it for about two hours and see if it wrinkles. So it's been about three hours, the uh, rocker cover uh, drying here. You can see the wrinkles actually come out pretty good now. See if the camera picks it up. The only tiny little blemish I can see is this part here. It's a tiny little extra paint, but the rest looks so good. And then when I pull this out tomorrow, I'm gonna do that in there. So at the moment, I'm just gonna throw it into the oven. It says in the back to put it in for at 90 degrees for two hours to cure the paint. The 
had the rocker cover drying overnight. I had it cure in the oven, so it is fairly dry now. Uh, so next thing I'm gonna do is spray the Mazda logo. Black VHD paint here, which I'm gonna spray into a little tub. Um, so I'll have the paint sitting in it, and then I have these little paint brushes, these, which I'm gonna use to paint in the Mazda logo there. So I'm gonna paint that now. And then next thing you'll see is a few clips of the caliper sprayed and the rocker cover back on the engine. That is all the painting work finished. You can see the cam covers back on, looks really good. The wrinkling came out pretty well. There's some one or two pieces where it didn't wrinkle as much, maybe at the front, I didn't give it as much paint, but it does look really good. And the lettering came out really nice as well, where I just kind of dabbed the paint in. Calipers as well are all done. I took all the masking tape off and threw them back, the wheels back on. They look really good as well. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Just made the engine bay look a tad bit better and the calipers do look really good underneath the, uh, the silver sort of wheels. Um, I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can get the paint. I got these all from MCG, They're the VHT high temperature paint. Um, so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.